Hey everyone, welcome back for more exciting Space Quest 2 action. Alright, so let's see. So we're here, of course, in the screen where the Lady and Terror Beast shows up, so let's go ahead and... Why did I do that again? I type... I, I must be so used to typing that word that I uh, mistakenly type it when I'm trying to type whistle because it's spelled exactly like whistle. Uh, Alright, <laughs> let's go ahead and blow the whistle. That sound effect also sounds like it's been um, messed up. I don't think the Labian Terror Beats is supposed to sound like that. Alright, whatever. Um, let's see. What else do we have going on? Oh, here we are in the shuttle with Roger holding very tightly onto his joystick. Uh, a couple of sound effects here that are kind of cool. If you turn on the uh, power, sounds like that. But if you turn that dial, you know, the dial that switches between vertical and horizontal control, check out this sound effect. This is cooler than it has a right to be. Awesome. All right. The rest of the sound effects uh, for a while aren't that interesting. The whole process of getting airborne uh, plays no sound, just as it does in the PC version. Getting pulled into Vohal's asteroid doesn't really make a lot of sounds. It just plays the same sound effects that we've already heard from the shuttle before, so I'm not going to replay them. Uh, I'm not going to go ahead and bother doing the elevator sound effects, because they're they're pretty lame, honestly. The, the elevator is just like a, you know another beep, beep, beep kind of sound. Um, and I was thinking of doing the floor waxer that you, of course, run into in the hallways here. But I think it's really not worth it, because I'd have to look for it for a while, and it would waste time. And honestly, the floor waxer sound is really underwhelming. It's really... There, there's not much to it. It's not, it's not as cool as as you might hope it to be. Uh, instead, let's load something that's much cooler. Oh yeah, you know what this is. Yeah, that's, that is a, a cool sound effect. Um, where are we at? Let's see. And there's really not much else that you run into in the hallways here, obviously. I mean, all the sound effects that you get out here are not really anything special. I don't think it plays anything in the in the restroom, unfortunately. I was hoping for some cool sound effects in the bathroom, but there weren't any. Uh, so I'll just, I'll just pop up here. And, um, oh, the shrink ray. The shrink ray that uh, comes up when you walk up to Vaux Hall is kind of cool. after a while, but for the first couple of seconds it's pretty cool. Um, this unfortunately doesn't make a sound. I was hoping for at least kind of a, a clack or something as the piece of glass hits the table, but no such luck. Oh well. Um, and in here... Yeah, there's just the faintest of little thump sounds as Vohal's artificial pump keeps uh, keeps running. Alright. And the other thing that you can do here, of course, is pull that switch and type on the keyboard, which isn't really... The sound effects aren't all that spectacular, but what the heck, I'll play them just since they're there and we're in the neighborhood anyhow, might as well play them. So we pull this switch... Type enlarge. Yeah, just a series of taps, nothing really special. Um, and that's it. The rest of it, of course, is going through that tunnel uh, that starts to break up as the asteroid fortress is going through its decaying orbit. Um, and I think that's pretty much it in terms of sound effects. Um, so I'll just go ahead and jump straight to the end of the game. And this, of course, is that alarm that you hear at the very end of the game, which is pretty annoying uh, in the PC version. It's a little less annoying and a little more 
as you would hope for an alarm to sound in this version of the game. Um, we're about to run into the... Uh, well, let, me sh let me shut that up for just a second. We're about to run into the Marrowmatic, which is that robot right at the escape pod at the end that tries to kill you. Uh, when I when I get into the next screen, I'm going to go ahead and type some garbage just to make the game pause, because if you actually pause the game like this with this window, it turns off the sound, and I don't want to turn off the sound, because you are about to hear some pretty awesome music that will cap off the final um, encounter between Roger and opponent. So I'm just going to type some garbage like this, because that makes the game pause, but it doesn't turn off the sound. See what I mean? So, just so that you'll know why I'm doing that in the next room. Alright, here we go. Oh, maybe it doesn't start until it actually starts chasing you, all right. Awesome. Once again, there's no music at all in other versions of the game at this point in time, but the last final battle between Roger and this robot gets you that music. That is so cool, and, and when he's running away it creates an interesting effect, because you know he goes running down this hallway and the robot's chasing him all the way and that music's playing the whole time. It's pretty awesome. Also the sound effect that, the, uh, that it plays when the robot catches you is pretty... Oh, it actually replaced the music. What, is he going to have to walk all the way back to his station before it plays the death music? Come on. Yeah. One last time for good measure. All right. Um... I guess that's it then. I'll go ahead and um, finish off the game so we can hear what the pod sounds like. This is Roger in the pod, so let's go ahead and launch so we can hear the final sound effects of that. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and finish the game. And by the way, this is going to be an all-new uh, tune. Unlike the PC version of this game, which plays you exactly the same music at the end as at the beginning, we get a whole new piece of music to commemorate the end of Space Quest II. Uh, it's it's based on the same Space Quest theme, but it's different. It's, it's something that we've never heard before, so let's go ahead and do it. This will be cool. So cool. 
I swear that is that might even be better than the death music I am I feel so gratified because I was a little you know disappointed in the first game when we didn't even get any different music to end the game and this like I said I think this more than makes up for that awesome with a capital A well folks that is the Apple 2GS version of Space Quest 2 but we're not done yet since um, let's see how much time do I have left well, it's been about 10 minutes uh, since I've got a little bit of time uh, and you know this is going to be the last video I wanted to play a couple of mp3s that I have of um, the Tandy version of this game now, those of you who never had a Tandy, uh, you may or may not know, the Tandy basically had a sound very similar to the IBM PC in the sense that it could only make a square wave, but it could make three of them simultaneously, which did allow for some possibility of harmony that you couldn't get with a single square wave unless you used digitized sound, which some people did on the PC, but it usually sounded pretty terrible. So, um, uh, www.spacequest.net actually has uh, these mp3s available on it so my thanks to spacequest.net for providing these mp3s um, but I'll go ahead and play them here even though this isn't Apple IIgs stuff this is Tandy stuff but what the heck I'll play these just for good measure because a lot of you have probably never heard these at all so here we go here's the Space Quest 2 theme as rendered on the Tandy 3 voice sound system because uh, I was going to play it later, but I didn't realize we'd play it again. The, the latter thing that you heard, of course, was the death music, which is also the, uh, the Tandy version of that. Let me play that one more time. So, you know, it might not be anything to write home about, or maybe it is if you're... If you're like me, I, you know, I would probably write home about that. That'd be pretty awesome. Anyway, it gives you a, a little bit more possibility for harmony than the PC did. I mean, it's not, you know, it's not, it's not as cool as the death music on the Apple IIgs version. I mean, the Apple IIgs death music is just awesome. But um, you know, the three voice thing does give you a little bit more possibility for harmony and stuff like that. So, okay, I think now we're finally done. This has been the mostly unheard music of Space Quest 2. And I have been very pleased to bring it to you. I hope that you've enjoyed watching and listening to these videos. And um, yeah, we're done. Thank you very much for your support, everyone. And thank you for watching as always. Hope you enjoyed. I know I did. All right. Goodbye, everyone.